Okay, part two. And uh, installing the base. This was uh, the base that was on there. You can see the pattern of the holes. So this was right there originally. And so I just unscrewed that, put this on there. Um, you can see the screws underneath. The pattern is uh, wider than this one. So I had to drill new holes. So I drilled new holes. What I, what I did is I just used the, the holes that are there. And if you see on top of here, these holes, screws. I just pushed these screws down into the original holes. And then while I was held down, I taped it down real smooth, real, real tight so it wouldn't move. And then I drilled right through the base with the, with the screw bit and made new holes. This is the screws that they came with. They were too short. I couldn't get the net on there. So this is the ones that were with the old base. This was on the old base here. So it's like a two inch screw. These are plenty long enough. So after I put those in, I had no problem putting the net on. So. Trying to do this one handed. You can see it's swivel now. I was concerned about this bar here, but the base cleared it pretty good. This sea swirl, what I like about these boats is that you got a panel right here. It comes right off. You can see you get easy access under there. That's about it. Next, I'm going to put the electrical on. That shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, I'm just going to run the wires to the battery. I looked on the directions. It's got a built in fuse in the motor, so a breaker switch. So if there's something goes wrong, I don't need to put a connect to a fuse because I can just, it has a breaker breaker switch on the back of the machine, the motor. So it worked pretty good. I'm going to put it up there now. So it's pretty easy. Anybody could do it. It's a little loose. It's got a little bit of play in it, but 